Welcome to this QuickBooks 2019 tutorial for beginners. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, I'm gonna go through the items and services list, okay? Now, if you're not too familiar with QuickBooks 2019, the items and services list is crucial to get set up on the front end in QuickBooks. And the reason is, is because these are all the items and the services that you will bill your customers for. All right, so what I'm going to do here is on this flow chart, I'm going to click on items and services. And you'll see in this sample company file, they have all sorts of services, inventory, non-inventory, other charges, just a lot of stuff set up in here. All right. Now, when you start your QuickBooks file, uh, you're going to have to go in and set all of these up. All right. So these are all of the things that your company bills for. So in this company file, this is a construction company, you'll see that you'll notice that we've got all these items set up, okay? So let's just go into one of these examples. So I'm gonna just click on blueprints and I'm gonna right click and I'm gonna click edit item, all right? So you'll see here that we have blueprints set up. It's a service item, okay? And the rate is left at zero because they, you can adjust this on the face of the invoice. Okay, and I'll show you that in just a minute. And it's non-taxable. Now, the very, very important thing that you need to do when you set up an item is you've got to assign this to an income account. Okay, so this goes to design income. And what this means is that every time you put this on an invoice to a customer or a sales receipt or whatever it is, and you get paid, it's gonna put that income to this construction income account, this design income account, all right? So as you're setting up your, uh, your items and your services and whatever you're selling, you're gonna to have to assign it to a certain income account, all right? So let me cancel this. And the way that you set up a new item in your QuickBooks file is you can either just right click on the screen here and click new, all right? or you can go down here to item and click new. All right, so when you click new, you'll notice that the type of item that you're setting up, you've, you're gonna choose what this is, all right? So in this, in this case, this is a service item, and let's just say that, uh, uh, let's call this install labor. All right, this is not a sub item, and we're not gonna put in a unit of, unit of measure. This will put on the description. This is the description that will show up on your invoice. And I'll show you what that looks like in just a minute. We're going to say 50 bucks. Not taxable because in most states, labor is not taxable. And then the account. Okay. So in this case, this is already set up. We're going to put labor income. All right. So let's click. Okay. So now you'll see we now have this install labor. All right. So let me show you how if we go to customers and we go to create invoices, let me pick a, uh, we'll pick somebody here, Bridget Keenan. Okay. So when you go to create an invoice and again, or a sales receipt, we're going to go to the item and there's our item now install labor. All right. So you can change all this right on the face of the invoice so that, you know, when you're setting up your items, you don't have to have the description and the rate and everything exact. All right. So you can say install labor for installation of cabinets. All right. We'll say the quantity. This was five hours. Okay. 50 bucks, $250. It's going to automatically show as non-taxable because that's how we set up the item. And you'll see that the total balance due is $250 balance due. And you can save, close, send it up here. You can print later. You can email later. You can email it right now or print it right now. All right. So that's a basic overview of the items list. All right. In the beginning, you're going to have to set up all these items for your business. All right, this looks a little overwhelming in this sample company file, uh, but uh, you know, get it all set up on the front end and you can make changes over time. You can adjust it. It's very, very flexible. And also, like I said, when you go to create invoices, you can change 
the description, uh, you know, the rate, you can do all sorts of things right on the invoice or sales receipt. All right. For more QuickBooks videos, head on over to the QuickBooks University at qbuniversity.org, where uh, as a member of the QuickBooks University, we've got all the training videos to show you how to use uh, QuickBooks and QuickBooks Online. Plus, I personally answer your questions. So head on over there right now, QuickBooks University, qbuniversity.org.